we are getting to the end of the year and let's face it, everyone is hanging out for a bit of a break. Somewhere we can go to recharge our batteries. Well, our resident travel expert Debbie Griffiths has been exploring the options for a breakaway in Taranaki. Take a look. Taranaki is one of New Zealand's best surfing spots, but if you're not frothing to get slotted and you don't know you're goofy from your hang ten, there are plenty of ways to stay active while keeping your feet dry. Today is all about wellness in a place like no other. We're heading to Sanctuary Hill Retreat on the outskirts of New Plymouth. You can book to stay at their retreat for a reboot or join one of their regular yoga classes. I think since becoming a mum, I noticed my body changed so much that the way I practice and then obviously that translates to the way I teach is much more therapeutical. I try to focus more on the benefits of internal organs, energetical, uh, instead of the huff and puff sort of thing and sweating it out. Um, I, I found much more benefit and well-being through just stimulation of internal organs and, and more internal, internal uh, focus in a way. The postures are important, but the breathing is essential. It's absolutely essential. So in my personal practice, if I've got 10 minutes in the day, I mean, we're busy with parents, got two lilies, off to school, off we go, and it's like, I've got 10 minutes before I need to teach a class, I would do a breathing exercise rather than a posture. It is my best morning coffee, I swear. Like, it's just, it's such a boost of energy. It's really clearing for the mind, really settling. So whenever I teach, is yeah, students now that here we just breathe. I find um, Bhavani very knowledgeable about the body mm -hmm. and you can tell that she's continuing on her training as well because each time I come I feel like I'm learning something completely different from before. When I started I, I wasn't sure I wanted to carry on but after about three lessons I was hooked and I've yeah, been coming for about two years, I love it. My work life and personal life can be crazy sometimes, it's like most people juggle and it just really just centres me again. And I love it that they've created this centre here so that mm. right in town that people can come and actually retreat. People are wanting just to rest and they want to clear their minds, they're going through a lot of stress, they don't really know how to switch off the adrenaline in their lifestyle, so they need techniques, they need a good, good dosage of food that really will clear toxins, they're drinking lots, they're smoking lots, they're drinking lots of coffee. That's where fellow yogi and husband Ram's background as a chef on a luxury yacht becomes invaluable. Food's been a huge part about why people come here. Um, I mean, having worked in the industry, it, I can say it, it's really hard to get food that is solely focused on being really good for you rather than can it turn a profit, can it um, taste like rich and, and decadent. Um, and I mean, I, I guess some of the food we do is complex, which is why it's, it's not easy to do. Um, you know, this music looks simple, but there's components of it that took three, four days. So, um, yeah, but people are interested to learn about it. Yeah, yeah, and that's something we can do at home. We don't want to buy it back in. Absolutely, and yeah. Is that the interest people have? Yeah, it? absolutely. It's not, it's not hard. It's just understanding the techniques and the processes that are involved. I think nothing comes more intimate to someone to what we eat. It's like really, really intimate. So it's more empowering people to listen to their bodies and to really trust what their bodies need. And if what your body needs is a bike ride along a beautiful coastline, New Plymouth has that too. No My Tours can hook you up with transport and equipment. So the most popular bike ride that we have is along the coastal walkway. So because it's such a lovely, gentle bike, and also it's very, very safe, it's a really nice way to cycle and see our city. There's lots of places to bike and there will be some trails coming up with a new development for tourism. So once they're all established, we'll be able to start taking people along. 
and delivering them to those places as well. We customise every trip, so we ask a lot of questions, we find out what our guests are interested in, it could be an interest in the environment or an interest in the motors or engineering, anything that they're interested in, we will find the people that provide that experience and connect to them. So, We've got a great, great community of providers and we all work together to make sure that people get the best of what is available to them. It's just got so many undiscovered gems that when people visit, if you don't know it intimately, you just won't see it. And those are the things that we want to share with our visitors that come through uh, and spend time here. We want them to leave with lasting memories of a great trip. Wow, that looks so great. Now, Debbie was hosted by renowned PR, No My Tours in Sanctuary Hill. And if you would like to book a shuttle or a tour in Taranaki or a relaxing yoga retreat, how amazing did that look? Go to their websites that are on screen right now.